Kia ora, I'm Sheree Kinnear and these are the latest New Zealand Herald headlines. A rise in smashing grabs has prompted some businesses to review their security measures. Auckland Detective Inspector Scott Baird says ram raiding youths who plagued businesses earlier this year are now driving a spike in smash and grabs. There have been at least 12 across the region in the six weeks to mid-July, roughly half targeting Michael Hill jewellery stores. Retail New Zealand Chief Executive Greg Harford says more stores are taking protective measures and enrolling staff in health and safety courses. Over the last four or five months, things have been spiralling out of control and it's not a good situation for anyone who works in retail or customers who might be on site when some of these incidents happen. Civil defence officials have been on standby overnight as wild weather caused flooding around Otago and Canterbury. About 35 homes in North Dunedin have been evacuated due to a flood risk, including some student flats. In Christchurch, flooding has been reported in several suburbs and a severe weather warning remains in place. The cooling of the country's property market is expected to continue for the rest of the year. A new quarterly review from CoreLogic shows property values have tumbled for three months in a row to an average of just over 1 million, down 2.3% from the peak. Sales activity is weak, with the year's total sales projected to be down by about a sixth on last year. Economists expect the downturn to continue, with interest rates likely to rise, putting more pressure on people to refinance or take out new mortgages. The ACT Party wants to see a new bill banning cigarettes go up in smoke. The bill, which would ban anyone born after the start of 2009 from buying tobacco products, has passed its first reading in Parliament. But ACT says the legislation is too invasive. Deputy Leader Brooke Van Velden says she wonders what the government will ban next. This is just the first instant, but where does it stop? Sorry, you have too much sugar, so we're going to reduce how much sugar you can have. Sorry, we don't think that you should be allowed to eat meat, so we're going to ban sausages. I mean, it's just ridiculous nanny statism, and it's control for the sake of it. Meanwhile, the government hopes the merger of TVNZ and RNZ will create a more streamlined and durable public news media sector. Legislation to merge the two entities into a new broadcaster has passed its first reading in Parliament. More than $370 million over four years has been set aside to establish Aotearoa New Zealand Public Media. It's hoped by some that the merger responds to the changing ways people engage with media content. And Europe is moving to further reduce its reliance on Russian gas as Russia continues its assault on Ukraine. EU energy ministers have agreed to cut gas use in case Russia halts supplies. Members have agreed they should voluntarily reduce gas use by 15% from August to March. And those are the latest New Zealand Herald headlines. For more and to stay up to date, head to nzherald.co.nz. Kia pai tada. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald. Click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here and head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.